Hey guys, what's up? It's 277. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Let's hop right into it, shall we? Alright. I, I, for one thing, first off, I, I really wish that they had an option so that I could do a zoom out or like first person view. Like, Minecraft has F5 where it just zooms out into first person. You can also, you know, there any first person shooters, you can zoom out with the mouse wheel. It'd be kind of nice to have. Anyways! <clears throat> So last episode, we built the the, the giant uh, the the giant space anchor, um, the big damn anchor, um, and then got some other stuff automated and got some things set up. And uh, what I've done further is I have now a fully enclosed storage building, nice big warehouse with some windows in the front, big old door, and all your storage needs. So up top we have wire copper copper cables. One in here, so got a whole bunch of wire. All three of these are filling up with wire, distributed evenly. Uh, over here we have uh, iron plates. Again, all three are iron plates. The bottom here we got concrete, which is coming in from the side here. And on the other side of the yaw, we got ourselves some some uh, rods, iron rods, lots of iron rods. Uh, I also went ahead and set up a couple of minor manufactoriums. I'm going to call them that because I feel fancy. Uh, so we got input of iron coming in, as well as limestone on the other side, going into the smelteries here, which are going directly into the assemblers or constructors. This one is going directly into the assembly constructor to make concrete. And another one over here just for the copper. Same thing, same setup. It was all looking kind of good. It's all it's all looking kind of nice. <clears throat> now, I I have a need for I believe power is going to be the next big thing I want to get. <coughs> these uh, these biomass burners are great, but uh, I had to keep getting biomass. I had to make that myself, and it's just not not feasible. And as far as I know, there's no like farm. Uh, building that will let me produce biomass so that I can automate the production and creation of biomass to bio to you know f uh, leaves go to biomass uh, mass to biofuels nothing like that that I can see um, but in the meantime uh, I, so I just need to, to work towards that I think that might be something to do in, in tier 3 possibly maybe then I can unlock uh, coal because coal is the next big one so let's do this one. We need to get um, uh, this. So I will need uh, to submit the wires and submit these uh, things here. And I'll need rods. And I might as well go ahead and grab like, I don't know, three stacks of each. Plates, rods, all that goodness. Just so I have enough. And I'm pretty sure... There, I get some concrete as well. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a whole lot of it. So let's just grab that and also a two spools of 500. Should be enough. Oh, and now that I've, I also did a little bit of unlocking of stuff. So um, as you noticed, I now have uh, these stairs, which is super nice. So I made a little staircase that leads directly up here. So I don't have to go through the building the entire time. I can just go into a little staircase. And uh, yeah, it really helped out a lot. Makes it nice and easy. Nice and easy. So. Bam, fire that off. We've unlocked fabric. Which gets us new parts. And I imagine fabric is probably something. Oh, wait. There it is. Fabric is mycelia and leaves. Now, is there anything I can make with fabric? Uh, looks like a, that's a that's a big negatory. So I'm sure there's something I can do with fabric. I think I have to make it and then scan it. Is the next thing, right? Ten fat, yeah. To scan it, need ten fabric. So let's um get some leaves, get some mycelia. How much can I make? Three. Okay, that's not bad. Just, um, 
Yeah, here's good. Sure, I left some leaves around here somewhere. If not, we'll just chop down some fungus. Oh yeah, 24 leaves already. Bam. Pow. And then bam. Eh. And over here. Bam. Cut this mycelia down. No one needs this anymore. Okay, stop with that. I'm actually getting kind of full up on stuff, so. Let's go, uh make the rest of the fabric and then turn this in for research and while that's doing its thing our ship should be oh it's already back look at that already back how nice okay that's seven so it's ten total so fabric bam do some research and we'll put uh mycelium back in there wood there Silica, yeah, that, yeah. Um, that yeah, should be way out. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I need to make, I believe, a part assembly because I need to make these rotors. So these are the next big things to make. So let's go ahead and turn all this in. So one, two, three, a big spool of that, a hundred of that, and I'm shy by 50. So I go ahead and easily collect up some more. Take it from this one. Let's just do that. Let's do four. Did a bunch of rods. I need some water. Hmm. Good thing uh, me in this world does not need water. That's good. Good stuff. All right. <clears throat> That's what I was doing, so I need to turn this in. We'll launch that off. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Okay. So I'm thinking I can go ahead and put down the assembler probably in here. But I require rotors and modular frames to do it. So let's go ahead and see. What do I need to make rotors and modular frames? Uh, rotors. I need. Okay, I need uh, screws and modular frames. I need that and plates. So three modular frames, four rotors. One, two, three, four, two, three modular frames. I need screws. This might end up being that I'll need to make a second warehouse, I think. One, two, three, four. Because I think that the... The space anchor needs that as well. Let's just check to see what this is. Uh, yeah, 50 rotors and 75 heavy duty plates. Now I have heavy duty plates. I have 43 of them. So that's one. Hmm. Okay. Giving some thought here. Now I could already start the automation of exporting materials. So... I'm thinking merger in this direction, right? But here, hmm, this would be tough. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about this particular setup because I need this uh, side panel here for that. So until I get like stacked, I think there's stacked um, pylon or belt pylons. Until I can get stacked, I might have to hold a hold on that. But that's okay. We can go ahead and set up another machine section right over here. 
And this will just be, um, there you go, let's do this one. We'll do kind of like this. And then we're going to have our uh, rotor assembler. So, the assembler requires, I'm going to make rotors with this, I need iron rods and screws. So now if I, hmm, I'm thinking here. If I hijack this process here. Actually, no. That's not going to quite work, is it? Let's get that hooked up anyways, just so we can get it started. I think if I hijack the, the rods uh, storage from so it splits off from there and leads over to here, then I can also get rods exporting out from the system into the into a rotor here, and then also those rods into an assembler, uh, a, a constructor right here. That's even with you, but to an instructor right there. And then I have the conveyor pole kind of here and then here. And I'm thinking it was like that, and then from there to there. And then this would be screws. And then we simply put a... Wall of conveyor right there. Right there. That's to that way. And this hooks up to that guy. It's a little bit janky, but it's kind of getting there. And then I put this guy here. And here. Cause what I want because one of the tricks here is you take a length of stuff like that. And then you put a splitter on it, and then you can go ahead and remove the bit here and the bit there, and then you can direct connect it right in there. And this will cut to there, and this will go direct into the system here. So then all we need is we just need to get a merger set up. Probably right here would be best. And let's take this wall out. And I will put another wall instead with a uh, one here. There. This will go inside. This will go into there as well. So the merger will take it all, all the pieces. And start merging them together. And then finally, we get it all like this. Right? So the rods come in. They connect. I should probably get this power line just to right there. And then we're going to connect up this power to there and this power to there. So rod should start feeding in on this side over here. 
Yes, there we go. Perfect. So as you can see, we're getting screws. We have the rods already made. And now all of this, once the screws start flowing in, we're going to have that come right out. To here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's no good. Oh, we're out of power. Crap. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Uh, this guy is off. So standby is off. There we go. And then... Perfect. Okay. There. Power's back on. Everything's all good. And now the rotor maker's gonna make rotors. See? Boom. Look, there's one already. Fresh, clean, perfectly constructed rotor. Excellent. All right. The only thing I really need is to, you know, speed up this uh, this thing right here, and this will make it faster. We got the rods. We just need the screws. That looks cool. All right. All right. Let's see here. Thank you, Luna's cat box. Appreciate you always being noisy. All right, well, that's going good. So now we have those rotors here. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this list and see. I'm going to go ahead and mark down what I need for this guy here because we're going to need um, reinforced plates, which I can make by by hand. I'm no problem making those. Seventy-five and fifty. So let's go. We got forty and we got three. So thirty-five more reinforced plates. <coughs> And 47 of these rotors. Oh, that's gonna be rough. But no problem. Can do. It's no big deal. Two, three. Oh, he's. Screws. And more plates, too. Good thing I got plenty. Yeah, I think about it. I probably should go ahead and I need to top up the, the fuel. Ugh. It's always something, you know. You need fuel. You need fire. You need that which I desire, and then all this stuff. Okay. There's 60 fair, 66, 65. I forgot to put another one in the other side. Uh -huh. And finally, do and do. There we go. I like mine evenly stacked. Perfect. Okay. So that's all good to go. So now we have adequate power to go through. We're getting things going. Hey, it's going strong. We got probably what? Only has five rotors made. Oh, even better. Even better. Just sit here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven rotors. And the eighth. Sweet. So this is going strong. We just need to get the, this thing to go faster and we're good to go. So, uh, I think this is probably a good place for it to wrap here for now. Guys, thank you for joining me. The satisfactory. The factory is coming along. Coming along nicely. 
We get the Manufactorium spitting out the base equip base essentials over here. Second one spitting out just the copper cables. We're going to another setup right over here for the major assembler to start making up some big stuff. We might end up uh, putting one next to this that's going to be for the reinforced plates so we can do both. You know, start automating all of this whole process. That'd be nice. And uh, picking up from there, it's going to be just it's going to be a hoot and a half. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment, let us know that kind of thing. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Host Havoc. If you really like the quality Minecraft servers and more than just Minecraft stuff, I mean, they have like Ark and Seven Days to Die and all this cool stuff going on. Uh, you should go check out Host Havoc. Use the referral links. You know who has the best fans? Clearly, me and the squad. What's the thing, guys? Thank you for joining me. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!